Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Hope you're well. Today we're testing some more fun food gadgets. Now the majority of these today are ones that you've actually sent me links and I've decided to acquire them. So uh, yeah, they're all your suggestions. Hopefully you'll like them. I've got such a huge amount of food gadgets in my kitchen right now that I'm gonna be giving them away. So if you don't follow me on my Twitter or Facebook page, keep an eye out because over the next few weeks and months, I'm gonna to start to just send them out to you guys uh, for getting involved, I guess. But without further ado, let's get on with our first uh, food gadget. This um, is a bike, pizza cutter, basically. It's called a Fixie Pizza Cutter. Ride fast over your pizza is the tagline, and it's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Uh, hence the picture right there. We're just gonna cut the pizza with a bike, as you do. But I quite like the idea uh, that it's got two blades on it and it seems to have some sort of stand. So uh, let's get it out of the box. Oh wow, okay, it's actually pretty good quality. And yes, it does indeed uh, have a stand. Check that out. That, yeah, that's pretty good quality, to be fair. It feels like, it doesn't feel cheap and nasty. So these are the blades right here. I've got a pizza in the oven. Let's see if it works. Ooh, alrighty, it's a little bit too early for pizza to be honest. It's actually eight in the morning right now, but never mind. Uh, here we go. So we've uh, taken the bike off the stand and we're simply, I guess you don't want to sort of rest your hand on the blade too much. I'm going to go in the pizza. Oh, here we go. We're going to ride <laughs> through the pizza. Okay, yeah, that has, I'm reversing. Maybe you shouldn't really do that. I've done a couple of slices here, folks, already, and it's actually working really, really well. You have to sort of dig it in, first of all, to get past the crust, and then push it through, and that final back wheel does some really decent slices. So you can just sort of play with it, cut your pizza, and then put it in your stand uh, once you're done. So I think that is a cracking start. It's too early for pizza for me. Is it ever too early for pizza? No. This thing, I'm really, hello, I'm really excited about. Not this thing, this is a banana, but this thing, which is obviously quite self-explanatory, it is a banana slicer. Now, it does seem quite lazy, but we must remember like some of these other food gadgets as well. Some people can struggle doing activities like this, so it can be pretty darn useful indeed. So uh, let's peel our banana. There's our lovely banana. Now with this uh, banana slice, I was slightly confused because you have, this is like stronger ridges, the bits that you would imagine would cut this side, but then this bit it feels more comfortable, but you turn it over and that's all quite rough. Uh, but I'm gonna go for this side anyway, so we get a nice sort of cut on it. So here we go, push down on the banana. <clears throat> okay, that kind of worked, but um, you see that? It's opened it in many ways. All right, that did kind of work, but I'm just gonna try the other side as well, just so we've got the smooth side on it. Here we go, let's push it down again. Oh, wow, yeah, that has gone through much, much, much better. Just push it out, boom, 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 boom. Like little banana coins. Easy peasy, fun little gadget, that. Well, so far, my brunch is gonna consist of pizza and banana, so we might as well have some herbs with that, obviously. Uh, these are some gourmet herb scissors by Good Qual, which sounds like a sort of goblin or something. Uh, I'm really actually quite excited about these. Uh, they're multi-bladed scissors. I have seen uh, images of these online before, but you guys asked me to get hold of them. Let's just chuck this out. Oh, here we go. So there's the scissors. I don't know what that is. It's some sort of complimentary comb with it, something like this. Uh, the cover, and there we go. Multi-bladed scissors. Now chives, um, they're really good for snipping individually one by one, but when you can get a bunch uh, like this, here we go, get a bunch like that nice and level, and then we just snip. Oh, oh, brilliant. Look at that. <laughs> They've kind of buckled. Okay, so not, okay. The more you cut, the more they just sort of fall out and then you just get your little brushy thing and push it out. To be honest, that does save a lot of time and effort. Not completely ideal because they get stuck in there, but I actually really like that and I am gonna keep those. So um, get hold of some for yourself. On the last gadget review, you guys thought that the biscuit pocket mug was a little bit pointless. Check this out. This is a self-stirring mug. Um, yeah, the height of laziness, I guess. I've already put the batteries in it. Very self-explanatory. It is a mug uh, that stirs itself. You basically uh, take the lid off, and put your coffee and that in there. Just press this button down. I've already put the batteries in the compartment at the bottom, but you see that? That thing in there spins around. So. Let's see if it works. So I've got my coffee granules here, and the thing I don't get is you need a spoon anyway to put the coffee granules in, so you're kind of defeating the point of not having the stir because you've already got a spoon in your hand. But anyhow, we'll go with it. So we'll just uh, get our water in there. I'm gonna have uh, milk too, and a little bit of sugar. Okay, so let's put the milk in. Again, I'm not gonna stir it. And as I like a little bit of sugar, teaspoon of sugar in there. And again, I just wanna stick the spoon in and stir, but uh, instead, we are gonna press our stirry stirry button. Oh wow. Oh Jesus. 
Okay. <laughs> Did you hear that noise? Uh, thought it was going to blow up. Oh wow, it's got a foamy head on it. It's suddenly turned into a pint of Guinness. Um, it's quite cool. I'm going to give it that. It does create like a little vortex. Look at that. You just want to jump in there, don't you? That's very, very addictive. That is actually quite cool. But again, completely pointless. Let's see if it's worked there. Let's see if it's uh, mixed it through. I have washed it out already, but um, not the best coffee I've ever made. I'm really sorry, but this self-stirring mug is like extremely addictive. I could just stare at that all day. Anyhow, my doorbell did actually just ring and another food gadget has just arrived. Although I wasn't really going to show you on these videos. This is like a digital uh, infrared thermometer with a laser beam number two. Uh, so it's really good for tempering chocolate. If you want me to review it, I will, but you'll just see it in future videos. So uh, there we go. That's what that looks like. But we do have another thing here. Let's move that out of the way. This is a potato cutter. Now I've just realized it says potato cutter. Nice click. English for me because on the other side I was trying to pronounce it Kartoffler Schneider is that right uh, it's a potato cutter that basically you put a potato in there pushes it through that grate and you should come out with really cool uh, chips like that and I love making my own homemade chips and I quite like the idea of making them chunky and rustic when you do it yourself but on this thing using this is potentially homemade McDonald's territory let's see if it works all right, I've just taken the wrapper out and the first thing, that is a big old machine and I'm quite happy about that because I was thinking, you know, potatoes are pretty darn big. So uh, that, look at that thing, that's a beast. We're going to push our potatoes through there. So let's get the potato. I'm not even going to uh, take the skin off it. We're going to go all like this and it must simply be a case of pushing down on the uh, shafty thing. So let me change the angle here. There we go. That's a little bit better. So you can see it now and I'm just going to press down. Here we go. Urgh! I just sprayed chips all over the floor and now the dog's trying to eat it. Hang on. Look at this potato protest in my kitchen. Uh, they look like chips. Let's see if it worked. Uh, yeah, so they have kind of worked, but they've got, they've been like bowed. Got like a kink in it. Look at that, it's like a rainbow. You can make rainbow chips. So uh, there we go. We're gonna get rid of those because they've been on the floor. And uh, look guys, look, self-stirring mug. Well, hey. We'll finish off this food gadget review with a flurry of food gadgets that actually work quite well together. And remember, if you've seen any fun food gadgets you want me to review, uh, leave me a link down below or tweet me something like that and I'll gradually get hold of them. As I say, got quite a few, so we'll just bring the videos out every month or so. Uh, right here, just to one side, is a pan of water that I'm bringing to a simmer. Just gonna put a bit of salt in that. But it's all about these gadgets. This is a bowler hat colander. Why spend 50p on a standard colander when you can have a bowler hat colander? I will wash this, but basically look, you can wear it and feel like Charlie Chaplin. And that's pretty much it. So it's a bit of a novelty gift, I guess, but we will use this to drain off our spaghetti in just, I can't remember how much this was. I'll put it on the screen right now, but I don't think it was that cheap. So you know, quite a quirky gift if you've got someone that likes bowler hats. So we need to measure out our spaghetti um, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse, you know that phrase? We're gonna eat a little bit of a horse because I don't have that much spaghetti. Uh, this is a spaghetti measure. There we go then, it's essentially a piece of plastic really, a spaghetti measure. So a uh, horse is enough for four people as it's shop day here. Uh, we've only got a little bit of spaghetti. So I'm just gonna show you what it would be like. It would sit in there, or in fact the drawing on the box uh, does it pretty darn well. But you can just sort of measure out your pasta so we can uh, slot that all in there and we can see Near enough, that is enough for one person. Uh, so yeah, a bit of plastic with a horse on it. So we're sticking the spaghetti in to cook and this brings us to our two other final gadgets. Let me show you how these work. This is one I was sent called a banana handle, okay? And it is exactly that. It is a banana made of silicone and it's ideal if you've got those pans, you know, where the actual handle itself can get really hot or you shove it in the oven. Because it's silicone, it can stand really strong temperatures. So all we do is, uh, slide it, it's getting a bit sensual, slide it onto our uh, pan. Now, if this was going into the oven, it would be ideal, but this is one of those pans that the handle actually stays quite cool anyway. Uh, but then you can hold it like a banana, like this. It's quite a good grip on it, although I don't feel like I want to trust it. Apparently that's the way it's supposed to go on, but it's still, I don't know, I don't trust that. If you've got a really hot pan and you're holding that, I'm, I'm, I don't know. And these things, I'm not really sure what they're called. In fact, you can make a little human centipede out of them. That's a little bit kinky, but uh, yeah, they're just silicon men again. And I think 
they just sit on the pan like that and they're good because you can apparently like just let a little bit of steam out and you can <laughs> crush the man's head just like that it's a little bit sinister but any hot pans and bits and bobs that you want to rest um and also use it as like an earplug or something like that you can high five yo man they like rowing <sighs> on a seesaw yeah that's that's pretty much what they do. There's definitely something a little creepy about that look. Anyhow, our spaghetti is now cooked. Let's drain it off with our bowler hat. There we go then, double whammy of the banana grip. Oh my gosh. Gonna need a bigger bowl? Nope, that's okay. Steamy, steamy, steamy. Colander bowler hat. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Spaghetti. <sighs> Facial. All done. So there we are folks, our gadget review for this time, all done and dusted. My favorite without a doubt is the good old self-stirring mug. Amazingly pointless, but pointlessly amazing at the same time. I just absolutely loving it. So remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know down below any more gadget suggestions and uh, that's it. I will see you again next time.